actually placing it in a wise. Uh, I would like to remove the brake, rear brake actuation R. Okay, since uh, brakes that I removed from a final drive were new, installed by previous owner, it's a good idea to mark exact position of this actuation arm when you are putting it uh, back together that it goes to the same place. Okay. Either a scriber or a center punch, you just make a small dot and that, that should be sufficient. Now we can clamp it in the wires. Okay, we have it stable in the wires. Now it's time to start removing these nuts. Thirty millimeter socket. So splines look in, in really good condition. These are uh, kind of weak point of, of these uh, older uh, final drives. Luckily we won't need to do any kind of repair. Uh, they tend to uh, you know, deteriorate uh, to the moment when they completely shear. Well, these ones are in, in really good condition. Okay, all nuts out, all washers out, and now essentially there are two threaded holes like M5 where you can insert uh, smaller like M5 uh, bolts and then pull this uh, cover off. But before doing that I'm just going to heat it up a bit so it, it, it's easier to pull it up. Now 8 mm socket, we will slowly drive one and the other side until it's free. Okay, it's out. 
Okay, ring gear looks in terrific condition. Okay, that's great. We will replace this gasket and of course clean everything. But at this point, let's we just want to remove the ring gear. You just smack it with a rubber mallet and it should fall out. Okay, there it is. Okay, we will clean everything nicely and then cover has a seal that we are going to replace. There's some oil inside that I want to wipe. This one is out. We will clean everything. And so after disassembling uh, final drive. Um, I gave uh, really good cleaning to the um, cover and also to the housing. Uh, I inspected all parts and uh, there was no damage, uh, you know, neither to the uh, this uh, ring gear. Uh, splines are in terrific condition. Uh, this bearing as well. Uh, there is no free play at all, so we can definitely uh, keep these uh, components together. There is no reason of replacing them. Uh, first we will start with uh, this big seal that goes on a cover. Uh, spring goes up and I believe we will be able to use a standard uh, seal driver to do this. Okay, so we will just start it like this by hand. And then, since this driver is a bit smaller, we will need to do one side at a time. So just make sure that seal is not protruding uh, this part of a cover and that actually hole should be visible because if oil uh, passes the seal it should actually go out here instead of clogging your brakes. Okay so this one is ready and then gear ring Slides right in. There it is. Great. Okay, now we have a couple of shims that go on top of a bearing. Uh, it's a good idea to grease them so they stay in place when you put cover. So just a couple of taps of grease that holds it in place. Okay. That's one. And 
here is another one a bit thinner there it is so next what we are going to do we are going to place a cover on top of uh, final drive but before doing that uh, we want to place a new gasket okay. nicely down perfect and now cover just slides on top of this but these uh, splines can be very sharp and they can damage newly uh, placed seal and for that reason uh, we need to use some kind of protection um, I would like to thank to use this opportunity to thank to um, William from Boxer 2 Valve on a really cool idea essentially any kind of can uh, of your favorite drink that you slide through the uh, seal and then it fits on top of uh, splines okay. there it is fully seated and now we can just slide it down okay. so now we are going to heat up a cover so it expands a bit and slides over a bearing that should be enough and we can go ahead and start tightening There it is. Okay. We will torque everything to spec once when it cools down. So now when everything cools down we can actually torque uh, these uh, nuts. Uh, 30 millimeter socket and uh, torque is uh, between 18 to 21 newton meters and I'll use 20 newton meters for this one I'll do it in crisscross pattern 